Alright guys, this is lesson 2 of Pythagoras' theorem. Today we're going to look at how to find the shorter side using Pythagoras' theorem. Alright guys, a quick reminder what Pythagoras' theorem is. Pythagoras states for any right angle triangle, the sum of the areas of the two small squares is equal to the area of the larger one. So for example, the length squared of area A and the length squared of area B, if you add them together, they will give you the length of area C squared. Okay, so essentially we get the formula of A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Well guys, this is the first example to find the shorter side. How do we do that? First thing we need to do is label our right angle triangle. So we look at our right angle triangle, identify where it is, opposite that is my hypotenuse. Hypotenuse meaning my longest side, so therefore my longest side is 13 centimeters. Uh, using the formula we chose in the last lesson of Pythagoras' theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now we're trying to find out the shorter side. So to rearrange the formula of Pythagoras' theorem, the shorter side will look like this. So c equals, which c now becomes our short side, square root that, a squared minus b squared, where a squared, where a is now our hypotenuse and b is our short side. So let's label the triangle. So our hypotenuse now becomes a, our short side now becomes b, and our other short side that we're trying to find is c. Okay, so now we can substitute those values into the equation. So c, my short side that we're trying to find out, which is x, okay, so square root that, a squared is now going to be 13 squared, take away b squared, which is now going to be 5 squared, okay, so c equals square root of that, 13 squared is 169, take away 5 squared, which is 25. So C is therefore equal to 144, when you square root that, gives me an answer of 12 centimetres. Remember the units, so therefore my short side here is 12 centimetres. Okay, so for this example is a calculator question, we need to find the shortest side. How we do this is, first of all, we need to identify where the right angle is. So remember, right angle is 90 degrees. Opposite this is my hypotenuse, meaning 24 is my longest side. We are trying to work out the x, which is my other short side. So using the formula from the previous example, to find the short side, it would be c equals square root a squared minus b squared okay so let's label the right angle triangle first so our hypotenuse now becomes a our short side is b and the one that we're trying to work out we'll call that c so substitute these values into the equation above so we will now get c equals square root a is 24 squared minus that by b which is 8 squared okay so C is now square root, 24 squared gives me 576, take away 8 squared, which is 64. C is therefore equal to square root of 512, okay? Once you square root that answer, you should give me an answer of C equals 22.6. To one decimal place, okay. So therefore, our length of C, oh sorry, our length of X is therefore 22.6 to one decimal place, okay. All right, guys. This is the third example. It's a problem-solving question consisting of two right-angled triangles. We need to find the length x. How do we do this? First, let's look at the right angle triangle of D, C, and B and identify where the hypotenuse is. So if we look at our right angle, opposite this is my hypotenuse. That means, therefore, D, C, and C, B must be my short sides. 
So let's label it. Remember that if that is my hypotenuse, 19 centimeters, we'll label that one first. I'll call that A. And then length of D and C is my other short side. So I'll label that as B. Okay. Now to find my short side, which is C and B, consist of using the previous using the previous formula of c equals square root a squared minus b squared we can now substitute those values into the equation okay so c equals square root of 19 squared take away 13 squared okay we'll find out what those values are c equals square root of 361 take away 169 and that should give me an answer of square root of 192 okay once you square root of that answer that gives you a value of 13.9 centimeters okay so length of C and B is 13.9 centimeters right, now we need to find out what the short side is so again label it again so a right angle is right there opposite that is my hypotenuse we need to find out what the short side of x is again we can just simply label it again so 13.9 is my hypotenuse we label that a c and a we can label that as b and to find out what a and b is our short side we label that as c so using the formula again i can just simply just put the numbers into the formula so C equals square root of 13.9 squared take away 5 squared, okay? Now, that should give me an answer of 193.21 take away 25. And you square root that answer. C is therefore equal to square root of 168.21. I want to square root that it gives you an answer of 12.97 to two decimal places okay so therefore the length of x is 12.97 centimeters okay so what we'd like to do now is have a go at the following questions the red and green questions and please upload your answers to class charts and it will be checked. Thank you very much.